Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Black Falls. We are going to do a residential area today. So we want to extend this road up a touch and we're going to put it up, say three. That sounds like a good one. I, I don't have any uh, reference pictures today because my internet for the first time in probably five years is down right now. Uh, if this were SimCity, we wouldn't be playing now, would we? Because of the DRM, but this is City Skylines where they do not require such stupid things. So we are able to play despite the internet being down. Let's uh, grab a street, and we're gonna we're gonna do a gritty looking thing, and we're gonna connect some of these bigger roads here. Let's um, can we put that straight up? Is that straight up? Okay, I'll measure this out in just a sec. I just want to get the grid pattern going. That looks parallel. So, let's go straight up from the middle and we'll do the roads from the existing points. And let's do a change of pattern here. We'll do two roads going in as such. Let's do a little crescent. There we are. And we'll do one road connecting these guys, just to break that up a little bit. Not high density, we want to do low density. Excellent. Now let's think of uh, alleyways, we want to keep this going. Alleyway from here to here makes a ton of sense one alleyway right down the center as we typically do And we'll do the same On this one even though it's not exactly parallel That is perfectly okay Let's do one from You know what I don't mind this too much without an alleyway this one however we can We'll do a little curvy one, just like that. Okay, uh, we gotta do some piping under here. So people can drink and go to the toilet. There we go. Speed that up and get some residents. We are losing money hand over fist, so we need to start making some tax dollars here. We have more commercial demand, haven't we? Oh, we've got an ugly little area right in here that we need to fix. Trees, trees, more trees. Let's do the big guys. I wish there were a mod, and if there's any mod developers listening to this, here's a suggestion. Try to find a way to get these gross yellow grass things out of the game. Like if they would stay green, that would be really awesome, but they turn into these yellow gross looking patches like somebody hasn't watered their grass in a month and a half. And they're just... Look, look at this. This is gross. Don't like it at all. Okay, how are we doing? We got a little bit... Oh, that is that silly looking building. It's preventing us from putting anything nice there. Ugh. Gross little patches of dead grass. Gotta get in close on this one. No, it didn't even appear. Uh, oh well. No, not a big one. 
You can get a little small one, a couple small ones in there. Yep. There, that looks a little better. Definitely going to hit the tree limit on this map because with all these pedestrian paths and, and this creation of this yellow... Ooh, that is gross. Just clipped through the building there. That's not good. Uh, with all these pedestrian paths that we're doing, we're going to end up with a lot of this yellowing grass around. And I really do not like it. So we're going to have to do a lot of filling. Sometimes can be a little tricky to get the right spot. There we go. Okay, that looks infinitely better than it did before. A couple here. Mucho bueno. Oh, I, I should show you this. I did this thing over here. Uh, in this uh, in this thing in the real city, this is how it looks. This is a uh, uh, an off ramp. There's a there's a turning lane that goes this way. Unfortunately, you cannot do that in this game uh, to get a, a turning lane to go from here to here. You could split one off from here. I think you could anyway. Angle's a little weirdo. Space already occupied. For serious? I don't see how that space was occupied. Like, if I'm coming straight out... Huh? No. Anyway. Uh, th this is probably going to be crap. I mean, the, I think this is going to get it to be a very busy overpass, and uh, this isn't going to work out well. But I thought I'd try it, because that's how it's set up in the real city. This, uh exits and and turn turning lanes and whatever and there's a bunch of commercial property over this way uh, these aren't aren't there they all come down from here so everybody's got to come up there and, and then down that way and i thought i'd give it a shot it looks kind of funny in the game like i wish these would stay straight but they're not going to because i had to extend this out another one probably to make them straight and I didn't want to do that. But I'm just going to try this for the time being. It's not going to stick around. I also need to make a couple more exits. Um, and I'm not going to do them overly casually. Like, I'm not just going to, you know, plop one down like that. I want to do them where they go on to a main road. So, uh, in the real city, this doesn't continue on like that. Not quite like that, anyway. Um... Let's see, I haven't really checked this map over. So this would be the downtown area in the real city, and it looks like this is underwater. We're going to have to do something about that. That's no good. Uh, it's I can tell you that, it's not flooded like that, because that is the farmer's market right there. And that ship just clipped right on through the bridge. Okie doke. Um, so anyway, yeah, what I was saying is there is one more exit here. Then there's another exit. Let's see. Think, think, think. I can't look at reference images right now because of the internet. Uh, I think there's another one right here. There's an on-ramp there. And then there's another on-ramp system over here. I believe. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this thinking yeah kind of approximations uh but we can do whatever we want it's i mean i'm not trying to follow the real city but it would be kind of neat what are these guys gripes and about here not enough educated workers well that means it's time for high school so let's plop a high school a beautiful high school a very very beautiful high school Let's put it um, right here. Now, let's see how beautiful this beautiful high school is. That is very beautiful, isn't it? 
Let's do a pedestrian path around the entire bloody thing. Starting here. And we can continue that onward to the main road. And we're going to do a little bit of space this way as well. And I'll show you why in just a second. Because we want to make this kind of a, a grounds, right? So we want to get some parks in here. And I see this is still not fixed in my game at least. Uh, we might end up having to update the assets. And uh, if that's the case, then no problem whatsoever. We'll just get it done. But I haven't looked into that just yet. So we got a park there. Let's get a pedestrian path going. And we will put some trees back here. Let's use the big, big, big trees. We'll do not a super dense one. We'll just zigzag them a little bit like this. Just to fill it in, but not super dense. And we'll tree line this back bit as well. Let's grab some different trees. Okay. Now in this area, I want to do some sort of recreational field. Uh, I am going to download Traffic++ Plus Plus and Traffic Manager so that I can do buildings on these pedestrian paths and stuff. I think those mods will, will still do that. If I, the last time I checked, they did anyway. Uh, so we're going to get that a little bit later once my internet's backed up, back up, and uh, we will be able to do a little bit more creative things than we can currently do. Any unique buildings that would be cool by high school? Let's have a look. Mall, no. No, no. Tax office might look kind of neat. Yeah, let's do the tax office. We break up our road pattern a bit by doing that, but that's uh, that's all right. Maybe do not connect like, like crookedly. No, extend you out so you don't do that. Since there's nothing we can do besides trees back here, we're just going to have to do trees and let that suffice. Let's plop a bunch of shrubberies, and then we'll grab some bigger trees. Nice and dense. There we go. High school park. And uh, we could run a road back here so that we can do a little more expansion on this. Let's see if we can pull a road straight off of here. Uh, no, not quite the right length I was going for. Nope, not that one either. Maybe that is the best we can get. Okay, so now we can do some cooler things, but we're gonna have to get rid of this ugliness. With some trees. Man, I sound like a broken record. Trees, trees, trees. All trees everywhere. But there's no other way to make that look half decent, so I'm kind of stuck. I'm sure people will appreciate the tree line path anyway. Okay, so uh, let's continue this on because we, we don't want to have it stop halfway. Okay, anything we can put in this little space, I wonder. Let's see what we have for really, really tiny stuff. Even that's too big, and I think that's one of the smallest. We'd have to bust out the path, but that's not the end of the world. This is the Japanese garden. Let's see how that looks. Are we trying to get too much done in this area? No, I don't think so. I think that looks okay. That looks just fine. Um, we'll tree up this, we'll tree up that and that. And uh, I think we want to try to get a sports field of sorts back in this area for the high school. 
Since we don't have a lot of options right now, it's either a baseball field or a soccer field. Or football, as people in the UK call it. Which makes abundantly more sense than calling American football football. There's a nice baseball stadium. Let's, um, let's get as far as we can or as close as we can to this with a road. And this is a, a fair size stadium, so we're going to need some parking for this thing. And we're going to do the parking lots right over here. And I've got some. Somewhere. A little forward, probably. What's this? Gravel farm, gravel, gravel. 4x8 parking lot. Small parking lot. I'm going to go with the 4x8s because I think these ones fit a little nicer. There, that's a good sized parking lot. And we'll give this thing some water. Very neat. Is that a big enough stadium for that big of a parking lot? I don't think so. Um, there's only four bleachers, so this is way, way too big for this. So we're gonna have to delete some of these. Uh, even this is too big. This is like uh, your sort of junior little league baseball stuff. So we need to do a small parking lot and thankfully we have one and we're gonna do that. That's really all about uh, maybe a few more than that actually. Let's do one more right beside it. That looks perfect. Perfect, perfect, but it might be better suited over. No, they'd be by the dugouts. Definitely be by the dugouts. Or in this case, just the benches. Looks like people are down there checking it out. It's the guy sitting on the bench. No other opposing team. It's going to be a pretty boring game. Let's see. Is this chick going to... She want to be the opposing team? Yeah. Anyway. I wish they'd actually play ball on it. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Let's... Um, I think this looks really neat. Uh, we've got tax office. I don't even know what this does. What does a tax office do? Uh, da, da, da. Well, we're running out of money, aren't we? 320 a week for cost. Hmm. You know, budget wise, that's probably pretty hard on us right now. Oh, you know what? We can raise our taxes here a little bit without pissing people off too much. Let's do that. And let's go to 13 for all of these. I think that'll be just fine. Now we're in the positive, at least for now. Okay, let's, uh, let's finish this trees off, and then I think we'll call it a day for this episode. Let's just get this nicely tree lined. Why do I always use that tree? It's just such a nice looking tree, and I like the consistent size, but we should, we should do other ones as well. Those are really tiny looking things, though. Do a different color of tree, at least. And try this guy. Need to do the big guys in here though, because they cover up so nicely. That's a nice area. Very, very nice. Okay, that is going to do it for the day, guys. Thanks very much. Uh, we will be back next time with another project that I don't know what's going to be. But until then, bye bye. <laughs>